What is up? What is up, everybody? This is Dance Music Kid, Vinnie Michael, with a brand new episode of Walk and Talk. It's been a couple. It's been about a se- several weeks since I did an episode of Walk and Talk. My story. Um, it's been a very, very long time. I've been busy with in the community, so let's get right to it. So I'm just walking outside. Such a beautiful day out here. That fence, that fence here was never there before until they constructed it last year. For so many years, for so many years, this was this was never here. Because like I remember, like throughout the years, we were coming straight through here. This fence was never here. They constructed it, I think, last year. Like I said, I think last year or the year before. This doesn't make any sense because it's so fucking stupid. Because look at this fence right here. Look at this fence right here. How can, for example, if there's a fire, how can the firemen get the get the water from the hydrant and and go over to someone else's house in case there's a fire? How are they are supposed to do that? You tell me. Which is so stupid. Look, look at the floor between that fence and this floor, and and then the fire hydrant, and then the fire hydrant. Because I remember so for so many years, this get fence was never here until they built it. So stupid with the way they fucking constructed it. So stupid. It's like that's part of this. Is like you know how people they, people need access. So stupid. Whoever constructed this, you're a fucking idiot. No, seriously, whoever constructed this fence, you're real fucking stupid. Calculate, calculate properly, or you don't know how to. So we're gonna go over to Central Parkway Mall. We're gonna go grab a nice coffee at McDonald's. We'll all preview, I'll preview some history there. Yeah, so sorry guys, I've not been around. Um, throughout the summer, well, actually only the beginning, I only shot an episode like a few weeks ago. Couple, yeah, several, I think, yeah, yeah, some, something like that, yeah, as I said, several weeks ago. So I'm back out here now. Looks like it's gonna rain. It looks like it's gonna rain out here. We're two minutes into the episode. See over the clouds of Mississauga. See, look, you see thunder, more uh, thunder, rain clouds again. So apparently, there was a massive rainstorm, a huge rainstorm yesterday that flooded almost all of Mississauga. Because, because uh, I live on Rathburn, and, like I live in the Rathburn area. So when they decided when it rained, I'm surprised that it didn't flood yeah, near my place. So I'm gonna go across, waiting for the light to change so I can go across the street. Yeah, nice to do nice to do a new episode of Walk and Talk slash my story. Yeah, we're in for a real we're here for a real rainstorm, ladies and gentlemen. This weekend is a taste of manila. So everybody, hope everybody's enjoying the taste of Manila on, on the streets of Bathurst and Wilson in North York. Originally, I was going to go, but I was like, really tired. I had a lot going on. Where I'm standing here, like the, this used to be the newspaper box. That used to be the newspaper box. These used to have the car, car magazine and... Real Estate Agent Magazine. They used to have it, and then over there too. They used to have it. Then then they took out the paper box from there. And it's her thunder and lightning, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes into the episode. 
Yeah, I miss you all so much. Yes, yes, yes. Last weekend was the fun fill the, the weekend before that was fun Philippines, and then this past Sunday was the P the Filipino Ontario vendors annual picnic bar annual barbecue picnic. Amazing, amazing turnout. The food was good. The people were amazing, and the the Ageless and Z Dance Marathon crew performed, which is very amazing. So now we're heading off to the French school. Near the French school, sorry. Because we're on Meadow, on the streets of Meadows, and near Central Off, well, going heading towards Central Park with Mill. This French school is very big. This French school, I believe, has been here since the early 80s. And like, over the one right there. That actually that actually was constructed in 2011 because apparently this the French school was getting a lot of new students because like I said the school is like one of the like the biggest schools in the area one of them so they decided to put add an extra extension it was like there's so many kids at that like so like the huge school population is so huge so they constructed it in the summer of 2011. You can see the thunder clouds over the 403. Over the 403 near the near those apartment buildings, you can it thunder clouds are about to erupt. Last night of Maharlika was fun. The band was good, the food was good. I enjoyed myself last night. This weather has been very humid lately. This has been the hottest summer ever. The hottest summer. How many thunderstorms, like rain, have we had? And the humidity. So this is like one of the longest summers ever. We'll take a mini tour around Central Parkway Mall a little bit. I'm just gonna, yeah, we'll take a mini tour around Central Parkway Mall. Then we're gonna head out elsewhere. Then we're gonna head elsewhere. Uh, thundering and lightning and now uh, thunder has erupted in Mississauga so we're the untouchables where I'm standing the untouchables 
you see, so the untouchable okay let me zoom in a little bit so the untouchables used to be the video store the video store was around at central parkway mall in the in the mid 80s early 90s and like used to used to be the rental video store here at central parkway mall they used to sell vhs they used to rent you you, you can rent uh vhs vhs video games all that from all from the video store you can rent it and give it and you, you send the movies back at midnight you watch the movie or play your favorite video game and so they closed that down in 2009 so they put the untouchables right in that location right in that area because apparently um D the dvds and then like they used to sell dvds as well right, right, right when the vhs was going out And then they sold the DVDs, they used to sell video games, like rent video, you can rent video games, rent VHS, rent DVDs. And then in 2009, they constructed Untouched, they moved, they moved out of Central Parkway, Untouchables moved to that spot right there. And then Tax White, where Tax White is, used to be the California Pizza. Where Tax White is, used to be the California Pizza. That was there in the early 90s, up until... 2000s in the early 2000s so yeah zoom it back so yeah a lot of his a lot of history at uh, central park mall so yeah so the california pizza and if you look under the nail uh, under the tax white logo you can still see half of the address of the california pizza and sandwich shop. We used to buy pizza from there like almost every weekend. And we used to order it from there. They made the best, finest pizza at Central Parkway Mall. And then Gino's went over there. Rexall used to be the Farmer Plus, it, and then was uh, Farmer Plus Rexall, and then it's called Rexall now. And the half of uh, the haircut salon. And you have the McDonald's right here. Way back in the day, so you used to have to pay play place until they took it down. This used to be the Central Parkway Cinemas. It used to be the Central Parkway Cinemas until they closed it down. Revamped it in 2008. I think the Looney Plus used to be. The Looney Plus where I'm standing used to be the old VGP. It used to be Untouchables. The nail salon's still here. And then this used to be the VGP. And then they call it Nintendo. This used to be the Parkway Paintings. It was opened in 1987 and it closed on just about a few years ago. This used to be the balloon store. This used to be the balloon store. And then that used to be uh, CIBC. And then downstairs used to be Byway. All of this here, where the passport office is, this was all home, it used to be home hardware until the passport office took half all the whole entire space. And then where I'm standing right here used to be, actually in the beginning of the early, the mid 90s used to be a CD store, then it became the Polish restaurant, then it became Bibbles and they closed it down and turned it into a shoe shop. And the Baskin Robbins still here, the computer store up here. That little spot, used, 
over there and then 5 avenues used to be Le actually used to be the liquor store then we came Levi's Chains Levi's Chains used to be here too Gino's Pizza and then the shawarma place that used to be the haircut salon until they closed it down this used to be the CIBC When they closed this down in the early mid 2000s and made it. And then the food basics used to be Dominion. So, a lot of history here at Central Park Mall. A lot of history. And the Chinese restaurant still here. The Great Wall of the Great Wall of China. Yeah, they used to be the, the electronics used to be the haircut tour, and they moved it on to the other location. This used to be the liquor store. That used to be Levi's. That half of the spot used to be Levi's Chains, and they closed it down. And half of it over here used to be the Home Hardware. Home Hardware was here at Central Parkway Mall in 1991 up until 2014 or 2012 and they moved it out but to uh, Applewood Plaza the whole entire they took up the spot because the passport office used to be upstairs this is yeah this here this shoe shop here used to be a CD shop a Polish restaurant, Biblos, a Lebanese restaurant, and now this is a shoe shop. And now, you know what's funny? Central Park, where you never used to have a bathroom. Never had a bathroom. This used to be a shoe shop right here, and it turned into a bathroom. This used to be the flower shop. This, many, many years ago, this was... Many years ago, this was the uh, coffee time. And they closed it down in 2000 and I think six or 2009 and they turned into a tax. It was first, it was a sushi shop, a bakery. Now it's tax wide. And this spot here used to be a toy store. The computer shop is still here. Baskin and Robin's still here. So I'm just gonna go to McDonald's and grab a nice coffee. So that's a brief history of Central Parkway. I'm sorry that I'm not pointing it here. This is like, I like to keep my camera onward. So I'm just explaining the history very fast. Yeah, the haircut tour as well was half of California pizza. Because wait, right where I'm standing here at McDonald's, this McDonald's used to be, you used to have a seating area in the early 90s, like mid 80s, early 90s, used to be a seating area, pay pace used to be over here. This was all different before, they used to have cashiers in this corner. And then they, break it, they, close, they got rid of it all in 2009, they put the TVs over here, where I'm standing, 
in 2009 up until 2015 and they reconstructed it and they reconstructed this and then they took got rid of the TVs and now McDonald's is very different in the PFA seats we over here so a lot of changes here at this McDonald's we used to have a seating over here and they got rid of it and put the, the garbage over here there's a TV right here and they got rid of that and the play place they got rid of as well Yeah, a lot of changes here at this McDonald's, a lot of changes. This is why I don't like Central Parkway Mall anymore. It's not the parkway we used to grow, come here and grow up with. And so yeah, so this McDonald's has been constructed like three times already. And this was the last one, so they just took everything all out. The seating area is very different. The cashier is very different. Everything's all different here. It's not like before. So they tore everything all down and changed it into what it is now. Here you go. Two dollars? Yeah. Well, 13 is actually my <laughs> number. Awesome. This is my boyfriend's <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And then... Seven? Right here. Thank you.
And then that used to be the play place, and then they took it all down. I may have to cut the episode short because it looks like it's going to rain, but we'll continue. It's a lot of history, a lot of history at Central Park the Mall. Yes, as we saw, it used to be the play place, it used to be a seating area. They got rid of it. So basically, McDonald's was constructed more than three times. I might have to do a back to back episode of Walking Talk. And the Geno's Pizza it used to be the Beckers. And the shawarma, and the shawarma used to be the tax wide. Selfie's still here. And some of these empty walls are now the restaurant, and then the cleaners is still here. Yeah, Basket and Robin, still here, and then. Gino's Pizza used to be the Becker's, actually, and then the shawarma combined with the shawarma and the tax. Like this one used to be tax white, so all of this used to be actually this one used to be Becker's convenience store, and the cleaners is still here. The Becker's used to be up until 2006, and they took that down. Chicken shawarma plates, they shut that down. This was here like two, 2012, and they closed it down. And now it's no longer here. Everybody used to go to the shawarma place. So it doesn't matter if we get something there or we have to come back here. She's on this way back. So fucking big people. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of history of Central Parkway Mall, and the cleaners is still here. I'll tell you what, I'll do a double episode of Walking Dog. This will be like a double episode. In case we get part, I will cut the episode and make a new one later on. Why is this fucking idiot has to record everything? You don't need to record the moment, you fucking asshole. Hmm. What an idiot. You don't need to record class, you fucking scumbag. Fucking idiot. Record every moment, you dumb fuck. Why oh, you fucking people like that? They have to record everything in a second, dumb fuck. Oh my god. I'm back here. Yeah, this was the Dominion, and they closed it down in 1996 to construct to construct a uh, bot. It was Bob. It was like Basics has been here since 1996. It went through so many names, especially Bob Food Basics. This here used to be the entrance way, and then they took it out and moved the entrance over here. Right when Metro took over in 2009. And so, yeah. We might have to go back in the Central Park and I'll cut the episode if it starts to pour. But if it stops. Uh, but when it stops, I'll do come back and do another episode. So this will be like a back-to-back -back episode of Walk and Talk slash my story. Yeah, Walk and Talk my story, excuse me. Yeah, so this used to be the, like I said, this used to be the entrance way to the grocery store. And then they moved it over there. So now we're gonna walk to Central Park Lane Burnham Door. See? And the sign is still the same. And they actually took down the McDonald's logo. Oh, yeah, my apologies if I haven't given me the full, like give me the full source. I just tell you from like yeah, each detail. I'm gonna I wanted to speak very fast so I can get out of there. Because like there's a lot of people, shady people at Central Park Lane Mall. So my apologies to my viewers if I hadn't give you the like you know the full thing because like I'm gonna get this done quickly so I can get out. And continue on. See, this logo's still here. They used to do the. They used to do like specials over here, and then like they took it all out. 
Okay, right where I'm still, okay, now here's some, here's a history lesson. Right where the, where I'm standing, right where the, the plaza is, Circle K and all that shit, um, many, many years ago, in the mid a in the 80s, no, in the early 90s, that used to be the SL gas station. Where I'm standing, right there where Circle K is, that used to be the SL gas station. And they closed it down in 1996. Like, 95, 96 they closed it. So yeah, during the early night, yeah, this used to be the SO gas station, and then they closed it down. And this, and then they brought the property, so they, this wasn't constructed in 2005. Like, early, late 2004, early 2005, this whole entire year, plaza was constructed. Where the Central Parkway pharmacies, they used to be the Gymify, until they closed it. Or where Optical is. So now it's starting to rain. So I'm just gonna hold my phone like this. So yeah, this used to be the SO gas station. A lot of history at that. A lot of yeah, that didn't last. That lasted till the mid 90s, like 95, 96. They started to close down the property, and they sold it, and then construct everything, anything in 2004. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the episode now. I'll get back. So we'll cut the episode short. Um, but I'll be back in a few minutes, so I will talk to you all soon. Hold up. Yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, see? Right where the plaza is. I'll go ahead, dude. No, no, go ahead, man. Go ahead, guys. Yeah, yeah, no worries. <laughs> actually those things are yeah don't apologize no 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 these actually those scooters no 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 because yeah no 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 I was very polite no I said don't apologize no because those scooters are very fast so yeah like no don't apologize see when you're from Mississauga I'm gonna look after you whether you're a stranger whether you're a stranger or not I'm gonna look after you don't apologize to me when you're from here we look after each other out here. Whether you're strangers or not, we look after each other out here in the saga hood. No, 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 no. What happened was those little scooters were very, very fast, guys. Those scooters are very, very fast. And he apologized. Say, no, don't, don't mind bad. You're having fun. No, it's all good. At least it wasn't intentionally because those scooters are pretty fast. <clears throat> yeah, those scooters are very, very, very fast. Okay, so it looks like we don't have to cut the episode, so I will continue on. I don't know how long if it's gonna rain, but we continue on. So now we're heading over to uh, Mississauga Valley. Yeah, so the yeah, so gas station, I miss that. Got a lot of history here in Mississauga. What time is it now? It is all 3.30. And then we're heading over to Canadian Martyrs. Even, especially Canadian Martyrs was remodeled. In the mid 90s, early 2000s, it was remodeled and they started reconstruct again. A couple years, several years ago, they reconstructed Canadian Martyrs. This, that side, on this side here. Okay, so continuing the episode. Actually, you know what, guys? We will cut the episode for now. I'll get back to you as soon as the rain stops. If we continue on with another episode of Walk and Talk, I'll be back in a few. Thanks for tuning in on this episode. I'll see you on the next one in just a few moments. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Take it easy.